Check it out, man. In the next clip right here, this young man, devastating crash. Um, don't look like anybody was hurt, but somebody, yeah, somebody was hurt. Somebody was pinned up against the wall. I'm surprised that the magnitude of the crash didn't didn't toss the, the cars over. Unfortunately, this driver right here, Cecil, bro, you 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 messed up, man. You gotta take accountability for what you did, bro. And lying is not taking accountability accountability. So after the crash, this man tells the, the trooper that his tire blew. And unfortunately, being that his steer tire blew, it kind of forced him over to the right, which caused the crash. But bro, <laughs> you cannot lie if you have an in-cab dash camera. Now I know, uh, now don't get me wrong drivers, I understand a lot of you guys are not fans of the, of the driver side camera. Look, I'm not a fan of it either, but you got to understand that bad boy is recording all the time. So if your ass, your ass do something that you're not supposed to be doing, it's going to catch you. It's going to catch it. Right? In this situation, he lied, but the camera caught him doing something else. You guys want to know what the camera caught him doing, right? Let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and break down the uh the the article right quick, right? So a closer look at the dash camera inside of a semi truck shows that Cecil was nodding off, meaning that he was fatigued, meaning that he was tired. If you felt tired, you should have pulled over, got some rest, maybe about a maybe about a quick nap or whatever. But you was nodding off, my G. He nodded off. The truck veered over to the right. And of course, when it veers to the right, you should hear that rumble strip, right? That and that should be like, oh, OK, you know, wake you back up. But obviously it was a little bit too late. Veered off to the right. Crashed into two uh, cars. I guess one of the cars was helping helping the other car change the tire. So I'm going to assume that that was like a roadside guy helping so helping the other person change the tire. But in the video, we can actually see one of the people that was up against the up against the wall while they was changing the tire. And when you came across and crashed into them, the car pinned them up against the wall, bro. You told the trooper that your tire blew. You shouldn't have did that, man, especially if you got a dash camera in the, in the inside of the truck. Nah, my G. So, Cecil, man, you was dozing off. Check out this. Ch check out the, the, the clip. After the Messages will be right back. The News for Jack's I team is now learning the driver said his tire blew out and that that's what caused the crash on I-4 in the Tampa area. Yeah, that's what he told troopers. But today I spoke with an attorney who says that this dash camera footage proves otherwise. Just a few seconds of sleep and then this. Truck driver Cecil Brown appears to doze off at the wheel of his 18-wheeler along Interstate I-4 in Hillsborough County. His semi-trailer first colliding with a car that was parked on the side of the highway where two people were changing a flat tire. One of the victims was pinned against a concrete wall along I-4. According to this police report, Brown told Florida troopers his front tire blew out and then the front right portion of his truck dipped and caused the crash. Testimony, which troopers later determined wasn't what really happened. The lie detector determined that was a lie. According to the incident report, Cecil told, the, again, Cecil told the highway patrol that his front tire blew out and then, you know, the front portion of his rig dipped and caused the cat. I mean, it caused the crash. But in actuality, the testimony that the trooper later determined that that was a lie.
The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, that didn't really happen. The video speaks for itself, my G. You was nodding off. You veered off to the right. You caused the crash. Now you got not now you got a now you got a ticket. You got a what what do you call that uh what do you call that ticket? Uh, reckless driving. You 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 pretty much you you pretty much tossed your CDLs in the trash, bro. That was five thousand dollars wasted. See, a lot of you guys want to come out here in these trucking streets thinking that it's all a game. Y'all get on TikTok and you see all these happy go lucky trucking truckers influencers out here that's over here trying to tell you oh how great trucking is and and come on in to chase that bag and all like that. But they're not telling you that, yeah, you can get real tired behind the wheel. And then when you get tired and you start to nod off, devastating things can happen. But no, they're not telling you that. They telling you how, how trucking is. It's like going to a club, a disco club. You know, all these, all these trucker females influencers with the with the makeup and the eyeliner and the nails that comes all the way. That how are you driving with with extremely long nails? Uh okay, okay. That's 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 room for another for another uh commentary. But again, bro, you was distracted. Distraction is the number one factor involving accidents. See that's what your and that's that's what your favorite influencers is not telling you. They're not telling you that the number one factor in truck driving is fatigue, distraction, not paying attention, and anything else that can happen in the truck. They're not telling you that. They're not telling you that. He said that the trucking industry has made great advances over the years installing dash cams. But you can't you can't do much more than that if you can't protect the people on the road. Now, again, like I said, the dash cams, I'm not a fan of the driver dash cam, but if it does help me, for sure. But I'm not going to lie about the situation. Bro, you're on camera. Da I mean, nodding off. After these messages, we'll be right back. If you're not checking your mirrors often enough. Portigliati says safety will cost trucking companies a little more money up front, but in the end, he says it can save trucking companies money and more importantly, save lives. Because Take accountability for what you do in the truck. If it's your fault or not. It's a lot. It, it's, it's a lot in these trucking streets, man. Y'all, y'all gotta take it from me. It's a lot. Trust me. I know. I talk from experience. I don't just talk out the side of my neck. I talk from experience. Okay. And if I tell you that safety and being attentive is the number one priority out here, then I'm telling you that's what it is. I understand things happen. Shit happens. But you got to make sure that you, the rig, the general public, revolves around you kid and the one that crashed into the cars probably might have to do some jail time behind that i'm just saying i'm just saying
All right, that's going to do it, everybody. I appreciate you guys listening, and thank you for making the Lockout Men podcast show your favorite podcast to listen to. Listen, if you want to get at me, 216-600-2090. That is the text number. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. You guys stay safe out there, and stay tuned for the next video. Lockout Men. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.